Welcome back to the Barreto family. I'm going to try to make this video quick, but as you guys saw in some of our last videos, we are expecting baby number two. So Eliana is going to get a sibling. We don't know yet if it is a boy or a girl. So I'll answer that question first. We had quite a few questions from you guys. And so I'll try to throw those answers in throughout this video. But if you have another question, throw it in the comments below um, because I am going to do another video just to talk about what we're thinking and hoping for and just some prayer requests um, in terms of this pregnancy and birth. So I'll give you a little spoiler alert. The next couple weeks are a little bit crazy, um, but God is good and is faithful and we're excited. So I am currently 12 weeks pregnant. Um, I know we just announced it to you guys and I'm already 12 weeks pregnant, but I had one ultrasound at six weeks. They try to do an ultrasound to determine exactly how far along the pregnancy is. And the best thing to do is to do that as quickly as possible. I don't know if that's the case in the United States. Um, I've only ever really gone through pregnancy processing in Colombia, in South America. And so that's what they do here. So excited. We are heading for my first ultrasound with this baby. Nervous, excited, haven't told our families yet because we tried to tell them last week and people were missing and things got canceled. And so we didn't get to tell them yet, but we are heading to see baby and they've never let me film in an ultrasound before, not even with Eliana. So we'll see what happens this time, but I'm excited we get to see baby today. Okay, so as I guessed, they did not let me film at all, but this apparently is baby, and this right here is baby. It kind of looks like chicken. It's fine. This was baby's heartbeat. They didn't let me hear it, but I did get to see the waves on the monitor. And baby's heartbeat was at 150 beats a minute. Everything is looking good. Baby is a good size. Um, they predicted using uh, measurements that baby is seven weeks, three days, which I predicted seven weeks, five days. So pretty close to what I thought. But baby is doing well. And that was our first appointment. But yeah, so I had one ultrasound at six weeks and that was literally just to see how big the baby was and check um, to make sure everything was good. And it was funny because the baby, the baby literally looked like a raw chicken with like <laughs> two little wings, but baby was doing fine. And then today I had my 12 week ultrasound and that one is literally all they do is they measure the nose and like the back of the neck of the baby to check for um, genetic abnormalities. Yeah, we're gonna drink our milk in the car today. It is so early. My appointment is at 7, but I have to be there at 6.30, and with traffic, we don't know how long it's going to take. So I had to wake this poor baby up at 5. It's going to be a day. Here we go. Okay, so we've got Eliana drinking her milk. It is still thinking about the sun coming up. <laughs> and we are headed to my second ultrasound. This is our baby. <gasps> That's his per his profile. Pero ya se ve su cabeza, uh -huh. su and that's his whole body. Look, there's a little foot. And his leg. And his bottom and his belly. Or her, we don't know, his or her. That's a baby. Eliana, mira. That's a baby, Eliana. Mira, ya se ve la cabeza. <gasps> La cabeza del bebé. There's a baby right Pero there. Se parece a tu cabeza. Sí. Sí, en serio. <laughs> Miro los pies y el cuerpo y la nariz. Yo creo que la nariz es igual a la tuya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ahí subí. 
they checked measurements and it doesn't have the measurements for down syndrome um heartbeat is good heartbeat was at one 173 higher than i think eliana was and so really in the 12 week ultrasound they don't really do anything except check the length of the nose and the length of like the back of the neck and they use that to rule out um down syndrome and just to check to see if the baby is growing at the rate that it should be baby measured exactly 12 weeks one day and today i am 12 weeks one day and that appointment was this morning um, I did record, you couldn't like film, but I put my phone recording in my bag and so I got to hear the lady. And the reason I did that was so that my husband could hear it after because he was outside with our daughter and they don't let kids come in. And so that way he got to hear all of what the ultrasound technician said. I tried to catch the heartbeat, like that was the one thing that I wanted to catch, but it's so muffled because my phone's in my bag and whatnot. So I didn't really get a good heartbeat. And yeah, so baby is doing great. Baby is measuring great. Everything looks phenomenal. God is so good and we are so thankful. And I just wanted to give like a quick, I'm at the end of my first trimester. I can't even, I'm a third of the way through this pregnancy. But it was so funny because this pregnancy has been so different from my pregnancy with Eliana. So with Eliana, I was so sick, like, I lost so much weight in a couple weeks that they had to put me on medication. I was just so sick. This pregnancy, I have felt amazing. Yes, I've had some hard days and yes, I've gotten sick, but it has not been anything like it was with Eliana. With Eliana, it was literally all day, every day. I was either in bed or in the bathroom. Like it was just horrendous. And this one has been super, super different, super. I don't want to say easy because no pregnancy is easy. But in comparison, like that part has been so much better. Um, it's also enabled me to eat like healthier foods because I don't feel so sick. Uh, have done a lot of walking. Andres and I take Eliana walking. We try to do it two or three times a week, like a long walk. And so that has been really nice. I have been extremely tired. But what's funny is I haven't noticed it as much as with my first pregnancy because with my first pregnancy, A, it was during COVID. So there was nothing going on and B, I didn't have any kids. And so I had the luxury of, I feel tired. So I'm going to lay down right now. I feel tired and I don't have the luxury of laying down because I've got a two year old and laundry and dishes and ministry. And so it's interesting. I feel like I'm probably just as tired as I was, but I don't notice it as much because I don't have the luxury of being tired. If that makes sense. Um, this pregnancy has also been a little bit more difficult with digestion. So I've noticed that I've drank a little bit more coffee. Like I drink about half a cup of coffee a day, which with Eliana, I wanted nothing to do with coffee. But with this one, I feel like I need to drink coffee. Um, I have been craving pizza, which is the same as with Eliana. Spicy foods, same thing as with Eliana. Unfortunately, the brand of jalapenos that existed here in Colombia was discontinued and the only ones I could find have like this super bitter taste. So I'm, I'm missing jalapenos, um, missing like a lot of spicy food. Colombia is not a super, it's Latin American food, but it's not a country that loves spice. And so I definitely, I love spicy food. And when I'm pregnant, apparently I love it even more. And then the other thing that I found myself eating a ton was like fresh, raw cucumber and tomato salads with Italian dressing why i don't know but that's been something that i've loved and really the only thing that has put me off like i do not want anything to do with is sweets which isn't a bad thing because baby doesn't need sweets so i wake up every night at about 2 or 3 a.m like which is funny because with eliana i didn't do that until third trimester and i started that here in the first trimester so that's different but I can't think of anything else that's like pregnancy related for first trimester. If you have any questions, if I missed something, put it down below. Or if you have specific questions about our plan for this baby, um, I will try to get a video out with that because like I said, it's gonna be a whirlwind the next couple weeks, but we are praying and waiting to see God at work and move and excited to welcome this baby into our household. Oh, before I let you guys go, I'm gonna give you guys a bump date. It is so funny because with Eliana, like 
yes, by first trimester, like my belly grew a little bit, but I feel like this baby, I don't know if it's just because it's my second pregnancy or because I'm short, but I started showing way earlier. It was a lot harder not to tell people I was pregnant. Plus I wasn't closed in my house for 76 straight days due to COVID. And so, but anyway, 12 weeks pregnant and, and this is our little baby. And today on the ultrasound, they said it was about this big. So it's about the size of a little like army guy. Um, but we are so excited. And like I said, there's gonna be more updates. Um, I'm still gonna be putting out ministry content and OCC and things, but we're gonna sprinkle in some baby updates in there with it. And we love you guys. And as always, we so appreciate your prayers. So pray with us as we step into this next journey as a family. Love you guys and we'll see you on the next video.